guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 23rd, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, Maryland Town suspend its entire police force, leaving residents in shock. Another purge? You guys know we already talked about Pittsburgh. And it seems like Maryland is uh, walking that same first step. It seems like this is going to be a, a trending throughout the entire sleeping giant land. All right, we're going to get to this here, guys. But we, uh, but we have more breaking news updates. Look at this one right here. MS-13 leader. One of the FB, you know what, most wanted. He was cuffed in the southern region. Mm. We have more breaking news updates, more signs in the heavens. So it says here, expert predict a once in a lifetime Nova explosion in the coming months. Guys, the sun, it's not the sun, but a star is going to explode this coming month. And this thing is going to light up the night sky. If you thought the blood moon is big or the solar eclipse, April 8th, again, these next couple of months, uh, a supernova, excuse me, a lifetime nova explosion is going to is gonna happen this year. There's a possibility it might happen, ar again, around November. That's when the sleeping giant do the uh, election. So it's very important, guys. All these signs is coming out. We have more breaking news updates. It seems like the entire world is on alert. Yes, alert. You have Polish PM. He said, without condemning the tea strike in the bad country, he ordered the Polish Secret Service to prepare for severe regional consequences as a result of the tea strike in the bear capital. We have more breaking news updates. This just happened not too long ago. This is a different story. The Bear Media reports large fire at oil refinery near that region um, in Samara a blast after possible drone strike. A lot of information is coming out right now, guys. This one here is very important, too. There's been a lot of uh, information coming out. Seems like Florida is about to be uh it's about to be taken. Shocking reports. You have a whole bunch of people now heading towards FL. It's not only one, two, we're talking about possibly up there in the thousands. You have certain groups aren't just flooding across our sudden, they're arriving all across South Florida. Alright, so we're gonna get to that one too. We have more breaking news updates. Once again, big breaking news. He's another land. Lithuania. Gov. Warning. Biblical war is imminent. Prepare immediately. <sighs> Signs in the heavens. Nation against nations. And so many other things. Here we go. Reports. The bear leader will address the nation. Uh, premature according to the newspaper citing gov sources no decision yet meanwhile ria has removed its live feed so he was going to give a speech but the speech was going to be 2 a.m so they decided to kind of cut off the live stream and do it early morning like around eight nine o'clock in the morning the bear is going to give a very very um, important announcement Another yellow and blue drone strike on the bear territory. The yellow and blue drones have struck this region oil refinery. So we already know this here. All right. So a lot of information is coming out. Once again, we're going to talk about Kate. Her story is a very, very powerful. So the princess and the king have the C-A-N-C-E-R. Now, people's like, Louis, there's only one king. Yes, there's, again, there's only one king. 
and his name is Jesus. But remember, the Bible says that Jesus is king of all kings. Now remember, there's multiple kings, even in Old Testament, King David, King Nebuchadnezzar. And again, it just shows like the authority, the leadership. Now we don't use king that much. We use uh, presidents. Uh, but uh, again, back in the days, it was king. But uh, again, you guys already know this king here and this princess. They both got the C-A-N-C-E-R. Wow. Guys, I was going to show something, but I'd rather not because of the platform. In California, there was this one person. He was eating. Supposedly, he was eating a F. O O T, someone's F O O T. That's where we at right now. That's where we at right now. As we move forward, there's gonna be many things to come, strange things to come. Today, it felt like troubled days. Today, it didn't feel like one of those, you know, happy, beautiful day. It just felt like very, very sad. You know, because of all the world events that's going on and situation happening in the bare country. I mean, all these things is take. I mean, happening right now. Very sad, extremely sad. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. We have tons of information here. We also going to talk about the red heifer. On Good Friday. So they're going to do the Red Heifer on Good Friday. Once again, the J-E-W-S to rebuke Jesus again. So they're going to be doing the Red Heifer on Good Friday. On the Mount of Olives. So we're going to start with uh, Maryland. What's going on in Maryland? What's going on? Why are you know law enforcement and all this type of stuff, uh, all that situation is happening right now? Once again, Maryland town suspend its entire police force, leaving residents in shock. All right, so I want to show you something really quick here, guys. I just posted this video not too long ago. Uh, it's very, very important to share these videos to give uh, again, so everybody knows the uh, updates and breaking news of what's to uh, what's to come. On April the 8th, uh, school district across the U.S. planned to close during solar eclipse. School district across the United States. This thing is only a, a solar eclipse. We've seen solar eclipse. It's not the end of the world. But uh, for some reason, this is like the biggest of them all. Now, I, guys, I want to bring something up really quick here. Large gathering. Large gathering. Stay away. Stay away. Have you seen what happened in the Bear Country in that concert? Stay away. The Bear Country just completely uh, shut down all the gatherings. They say no more gatherings. Even throughout the weekends, they kind of cancel all that. It's very important. Sleeping Giant, learn. Because eventually, it's going to happen in the Sleeping Giant. So, please, again, you know, some people are just going to go for it. But uh, just keep your heads up. Uh, always be aware of your surroundings and stay in prayer. I'm praying for everyone. If you guys want to check out that video, the link will be in the comments box. I've been posting a lot of videos of the solar eclipse and blood moon. Uh, it seems like not too many people are interested in that news, but... Uh, it's one of the most important news because it's scriptures, it's prophecy. This is very important signs in the heavens. And not too many are really into signs in the heavens, which is very concerning because it means that not too many people really, really are involved in scriptures. Now, if I make videos of... Uh, Let's say I was really good at making videos of the Mandela effect. Uh, some of my videos reached 2 million views. Uh, I haven't seen something like that since 2015, 2016. 
I can make videos of aliens and all that type of stuff, and I'm good editing. I guarantee I could get 500,000 views, but that's not me. I'm not going to be feeding people all that garbage. That's nonsense. That's that's something that does not, uh, uh, you know, lead you to the kingdom of heaven. But when I speak about Jesus or when I, you know, talk about signs in the heavens and nation against nations, it seems like people's like, uh, 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 not into it. Scriptures tells us that, uh, you know, the road to heaven is narrow. Not too many people is going to find it. Basically, not too many people want to find it. People just want to chase things of the world. It's just make them feel happy. Oh, well, I want to hear aliens or this and that. It just none of that stuff matters. What matters is, you know, your salvation. I mean, Jesus, what he did in that cross is something very special, amazing. Instead, people want to do red heifer. People want to listen to UFO. Our job is to continue putting out the info, the gospel. Again, there's watchmen, there's pastors, there's so many uh, disciples. That's our job to put out these information. Only a few will hear it. And again, I'm not trying to be, you know, kind of rude here, but according to scriptures, not too many is going to enter the kingdom of heaven. The road to hell is straight. Is you know that's easy to find. Uh, people love sin. People love uh, certain things of the world. Heaven is narrow. Not too many people will find that. A largely unexplained decision by a Maryland town to suspend its entire blue force has left residents shocked, skeptical, and on edge. The small town of originally located on Maryland's land, uh, eastern shore announced it was suspending officer of the police department leaving other public safety agency to fill the void but the town resident remained entirely in the dark about why it was being shut down you know why they're testing the waters they're seeing how this thing uh will be you know will act when situation hit the fan when the real thing uh when the real stuff hit the fan so Pittsburgh is doing something like that. Then you have Maryland. Something's going on here. They just, you know, a lot of people are very concerned. You know, what's going on here? Are we going to see some kind of like purge movie stuff? So it's very important that people start prepping spiritually, physically, mentally. Uh, you need to start uh, getting your own equipment and protect you and your loved ones. Because it seems like, again, here in the Sleeping Giant, things are changing right in front of our face. And I'm seeing it. But uh, we are seeing some great transformation. And it's not looking good. It's not looking good. We Again, we have millions of new ones that came into the Sleeping Giant. Many of them are wolves. So it says here, what's very concerning is that they didn't communicate with us in an honest and open way. So it says here, we are adult, thinking, rational adults who deserve the truth. What's going on? Holly Justice, an ethician who owns a spa in Ridgely, added, We were blindsided. It makes you question the integrity of people who are supposed to to protect and serve. Last week, officials said on the Ridgely website, a website that the town three-member commission had suspended with pay the entirety of the Ridgely Police Department and that the Office of State Prosecutor investigating potential wrongdoing. It goes on to say it doesn't add up, said Jeannie Wu, a business owner in downtown Ridgely since 1983. Everybody is skeptical about what happened. We just want to know how and why. The department's website says it employ half a dozen officers to serve its population of about 1,600 residents. According to city officials, Risley has made arrangements for officers of the nearby Caroline County Sheriff's Office to respond 
to emergency calls for now. Caroline County Sheriff David Baker said Maryland State Police will also pinch in, having officers from a neighboring town respond to service calls as some residents worry about slow, slower response times. Some residents have also suggested a reduced law enforcement pre presence could make them targets for potential criminals. All right, changes. Changes are coming. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Lithuania. I'll, I want to see what's going on with this story here. I'll, I really, really want to know what's going on with this one here. Lithuania Gov warning. Biblical war is imminent. Prepare immediately. Whoops. I totally apologize, guys. Give me a second. Now, I do believe when it comes to that movie Purge, wake up, wake up, wake up. Eventually, we're going to see the sleeping giant once that used to be safe. It's going to be in, in the hands of wolves. And again, I'm not trying to spook no one here, but you guys see the signs. You see Pittsburgh. You see what's going on in Maryland. You see, again, it's happening. Wow. Jeez, uh, Hal Turner, you get, I mean, you're trying to take the day off tonight, huh? <laughs> so uh, it says here, citizens in, Lith citizens in Lithuania are reporting the following. Lithuania Gov is urgently warning citizens. Biblical war is imminent. Prepare immediately. There's got to be more than this. Hold on. Give me a second here. Man, that was like, uh, man. Nah, this is, this seems like it's all of it. Okay, so, are we going to get back to that? Let me just show you some of this stuff here, guys. And let's go with the supernova. Not the supernova. I keep saying supernova. Uh, we're going to go with the nova explosion. All right. We got more updates about this. And then after the nova, I'm going to take it to the red heifer. All right. So once again, red heifer is just big news. It's all connected. The solar eclipse, the red heifer, nation against nations. It's all connected. It's all connected. Only a few is. Only a few are paying attention. Please put on the whole armor. Prepared. Stay in the Word of God. We are seeing great signs of Bible prophecy, but nobody's paying attention. Only a few are. While the world's attention has been focused on the total solar eclipse that will occur later this spring, the distance Corona uh, Borealis binary system which contains one dead white dwarf star and one aging red giant star has been busy gearing up for its own moment of glory a spectacular nova explosion you know when jesus was born there was a sign in the heaven the north star that north star was really really bright everybody saw it even the three kings saw the bright star and they knew that the son of god has been born and isaiah said that there would be a, a virgin giving birth and a child would be named emmanuel so we got this one here. There's going to be a star, a nova. This star is going to explode and it's going to be bright. 
and it's gonna bright again it's gonna shine the nice guy according to experts and the nice guy will be a little bright for like a week but at the same time you have these uh, JEWS are going to do the red heifer sacrificial of these cows an amount of olives can this be the opening scene of the Antichrist? What are we going to see, guys? We're going to see things are looking pretty tough nowadays. So it says here, located 3,000 light years from Earth. This corona uh, Boralis is home to a white dwarf star named T. Coronae Boralis, or TCRB for short. That's on the verge of what NASA says will be a once-in-a-lifetime nova eruption. The rare cosmic event is expected to take place sometime before September of 2024. Wait a minute. Didn't didn't the uh what the, man I can't say the name because the platform is strict. I'm gonna spell it R A B B I E S. They came out and they say that uh, again their Messiah will uh, be introduced this coming September 2024. Suppose um, again supposedly the Messiah is here, and that uh, he, again this Messiah is going to be revealed in 2023. But something happened. It was postponed. <laughs> and they said uh, the Messiah is coming 2024. I don't know. You guys are just something. <laughs> Man. So supposedly they have their Messiah. And uh, he doesn't want to be bothered. And that, uh, you know, just now it's not the time. So uh, come on. Give me a break, man. <laughs> um, all right. So the rare cosmic event is expected to take place sometime before September 2024. When it occurs, it will likely be visible to the naked eye. No expensive telescope will be needed to witness this spectacular cosmic performance. Guys, this sounds like the North Star. All right, The North Star was bright, and that was a sign that the Messiah was born in Bethlehem. Now this is going to be another star, and this one is going to shine. Can this one be for the Antichrist? The red heifer. The red heifer means that, uh, you know, again, those, they just reject Christ and they, they go with the cows. That's Old Testament stuff. <sighs> Man. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right, let's see what's going on here. So once again, please share the video. So you have a uh, TCRB experiences outburst only take place about once every 80 years. The last was uh, back in 1946. I'm very excited. This thing is kind of like Haley's Comet. Uh, it occurs once every 75 to 80 years. But Novas don't get the press Haley Comets gets, says NASA Meteorod Environment Program Manager William. Comets always get more press. This is all connected. I believe this is all connected. The Red Heifer, the Solar Eclipse, the Blood Moon, uh, Nation Against Nations, Nova, the Star, the Sun releasing massive solar flare. And you guys know, guys, look, I feel like uh, the world that I once knew, it's just, it's not here anymore. This world, I don't recognize this world. I don't recognize this sleeping giant. I don't recognize it anymore. It felt like, uh, you know, a, a piece of me is missing. I mean, I want to say it like that. But again, you know, the world that I once knew, that, you know, happiness world. It's gone. Just just gone. This here, it seems like, it feels like the devil's playground. Mm. 
And then we have seen strange behavior from so many, even those in the spotlight. Strange behavior. Man. But at the same time, we have to stay focused in the word of God and prayer. Stay focused. In most cases, you have experts have no idea when Nova explosions are going to happen, says Cook. But there are about 10 Novas that are known as uh, recurrent Novas, he explains. So a recurrent Nova is a Nova that periodically blows it top, continues Cook. And T. Corone uh, Borales is a prime example. Now it says here, but how does NASA know with such certainty that TCRB is going to erupt over the next few months? Specifically, it's a matter of mathematical calculations and visible evidence. For instance, the last time TCRB experienced a nova was in 1946, 78 years ago. The clock is very much ticking. The clock is very much ticking. So you have purge, nation against nations, and so many other things. It's just the tip of the iceberg. You got the new ones taking over homes. They just, guys, I just, I just heard um, in California, you know, LeBron James, the basketball player. Well, right next to his house, his mansion, there's, a, there's another mansion that has been taken over by those that came from the southern region. They took that. Squatters. They, they took that. They live right next to LeBron James. Changes is happening right in front of our faces. TCRB's reliable NOVA recurrence rate set it apart from the many other NOVAs identified over the years, and it's part of what makes the star explosion so special. There are lots and lots of NOVA that have been discovered, but most haven't been known to recur, or they go such long time periods without recurring that we don't know when they will again. So it says here, the time span for a repeat performance of a Nova is unpredictable. It can be anything between one year and as much as a millions of years. All right. So once again, guys, uh, I do believe there's going to be signs in the heavens. Remember, Jesus said there'll be signs in the sun the moon, and the stars. Now we're going to go with this one here. I would take it to the red heifer. I'm thinking about leaving the red heifer for the very end because I got all these good ones here. 2,000 earthquake in 24 hours off Canada coast suggests the ocean floor is ripping apart. Guys, scripture tells us that there are four angels in each corner of the earth controlling the weather pattern, the wind, the storm, and everything else. Now, once those angels release the four corners, there's going to be some strange activity to come. The Bible says that the burning mountains will fall into the ocean. And that would be one of the biggest earthquakes that the world has never seen. And there's going to be so many things shifting left and right. And just everything will be catastrophic. The angels are holding the four corners. They are preventing from that event to happen. It hasn't happened yet, but eventually it will. Book of Revelation, people need to read scriptures. John of Patmos, he saw the four angels. He saw the four angels holding. Uh, give me a second here. Let me bring that verse up really quick. So, again, um, let 
Okay, so this in, this is in Re, uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. All right, so this is in Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. And this is what John of Patmos. Now, John, he was exiled. He was exiled to uh, Patmos, which is an island off the coast of Turkey. He was the only disciple, I believe he was the only disciple that was not uh, persecuted. Uh, the others, they were. Uh, you guys already know uh, Peter was crucified upside down. Um, Paul, the apostle, he gave his neck to the sword. Again, he was, uh, you know, and John the Baptist beheaded. Uh, Jesus crucified. Uh, James was, his head, his head was busted with a, uh, a club. Um I think Luke, he was hung. Uh, so, again, all these uh, disciples, they've seen some brutal, brutal death. And uh, many of them, they did it for Jesus. And this is why we we cannot live in fear. All right? We have Christ in us. So stop worrying about the things of the world. Stay in scriptures. You find happiness. John of Patmos, he's like the only one that didn't see the persecution. He was exiled an island called Patmos and he saw he saw the future he saw things that would happen in our time he saw the four beasts rising from the sea they were together as one these are the four beasts that Daniel saw in his dream and he said that those four beasts symbolize kingdoms that has risen and has fallen but they will come back in the end time. They will rise from the sea as one. You guys already know those kingdoms is uh, Persia, uh, Greece, um, Babylon. No, the Babylonians and uh, the Roman Empire. So this one here is very powerful. John saw um, he saw the four angels. Uh, after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four cor corners of the earth holding the the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth on the sea or on, the, or on any tree so once again these are these angels are basically uh protecting this planet basically they're protecting the planet god god has instructed on the, uh, these angels to keep the planets you know steady we don't want to see like for example, Jupiter, you see the eye of Jupiter, they get all that hurricane, tornadoes, catastrophic storm, a lightning strike. Nobody will survive that. Uh, so we don't see that here because we have angels in each corner of the earth. And God instruct these angels, which they are very powerful angels uh, to keep the earth, you know, in steady and spinning and all that. But eventually uh, there's going to be. A day that those angels are going to release those corners and uh, there's going to be some stuff that's going to hit the fan. Um, give me a second here. Now, the Bible said that a mountain will be cast into the sea and so many other catastrophic events are going to hit. Uh, give me a second, guys. Give me one second. Now, we're going to go with this one here and see what's going on. This is just the tip of the iceberg. All this stuff happening right now is just the tip of the iceberg. 2,000 earthquake in 24 hours of Canada coast suggest the ocean floor is ripping apart. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I'm not talking about the app. Clock is ticking. Almost 2,000 earthquake rocked a spot off the coast of Canada in a single day earlier this month, which could be a sign that new oceanic crust is about to be uh, breathed via a deep sea magnetic rupture all right so last week we talked about the atlantic ocean that supposedly it could be swallowed by uh, i don't know just the crust could be opened up so all these stuff that experts sounding the alarm it will happen it will hit the fan you know that movie 2012 uh well basically it could happen it could happen that's no lie. That movie is 100% accurate. 
The Bible said that things will be moved from this place. There's going to be a lot of things. The sea is going to be swallowing lands. Mountains is going to be popping out of different regions. It will happen. It will. So the crakes aren't any threat to people. They're relatively small and centered on a spot called the Endeavor site, about 150 miles, that's 240 kilometers, off the coast of Vancouver Island. Now, this spot hosts a number of hydrothermal vents and sits on the Juan de Funca Ridge, uh, where the ocean floor is spreading apart. So that's not too far from the Cascadia, the subduction, the Cascadia subduction zone. Now this area is separate from the subduction zone. There we go. Um, a region where one tectonic plate is sinking into the mantle underneath another plate closer to the coast that can create large destructive earthquakes. Mm hmm. That's why you have all these uh, people talking about the uh, <coughs> that climate thing. <coughs> yeah. Um, scripture says that uh, there will be some great shaking. So, and also, if you think that nice, beautiful bunker, and, you know, nice, beautiful $100 million bunker or whatever bunker you have, if you think that's going to save you, you may want to read scriptures like the book of Isaiah. Because many people, they did have bunkers too. They ran to caves. <laughs> Man, they ran to caves. And that didn't work. That did not work. There's no running from God. There's no running from the wrath. So mid-ocean ridges aren't actually capable of producing that large of earthquake. Not too far above. A magnitude 5. This is not going to trigger the big one on the subduction zone. The quake are interesting scientifically because they can reveal details about how the ocean floor pulls apart and new crust forms. At the Edivore site, the Pacific Plate and the Juan de Funca Plate are pulling apart. This stretching creates long liner fault lines and thins the crust enabling magma to rise up. When the magma reaches the surface, it cools and hardens, becoming new ocean crust. And the Vor site is monitored continuously as part of the Northeast Pacific Time Series Undersea Networked Experiment. Run by Ocean Networks Canada, since 2018, the region has become more uh, seismically active. On March the 6th, however, the activity went wild, with at least 200 small earthquakes shaking the seafloor per hour. In all, the researchers detected about 1,850 quakes in a single day. The vast majority are less than magnitude 1. They're little props. Uh, excuse me, pops, this person said. But it's pretty cool because it allows us to track where things are happening, when things are breaking, and where things are moving around. Once again, this person said the most likely reason for the quakes is that the seafloor is stretched to its maximum extent and has built up a great deal of stress. At the end of our site, this happens when the plates pull apart about 3.3 feet, that's one meter, she said, and the stress is ultimately relieved when magma rises up into the thin crust and tools. All right. Wow. So there's no concerns when it comes to this story here. Everything is fine. Don't worry. No need to panic. It's just a little, you know, floor ripping. And, you know, it just tectonic plates shifting. It's all fine. One thing I tell you guys is that, and when it, again, when it comes to stuff like this, they feed you things that, that will make you feel safe. Again, they're not going to be telling you all these things that could hit the fan. They're not going to say that. They don't want to put fear in the public. 
Well, just tell them this and don't tell them that stuff. All right, give me a second here, guys. I want to bring this up really quick here. Just a little quick update. It says here, the numbers has reached 60 DEAD and 145 impacted. Um, now it says here, IS, IS claims credit. Mm. It's hard for me to actually believe that. So me and my wife, we did talk about that. And we agreed that at this time, let the bear country do their investigation and then they could tell us what really happened because everything just coming out way too fast, way too fast. And again, my deepest condolence and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. Very sad. I felt so sad today. Uh, when I was doing my Uber Eats, I was thinking about, you know, the situation that took place at the Bear Capital. It just, it's just very, very sad. And then I started thinking, you know, it could happen here too. It could happen here. It could happen because there's going to be a large gathering and the sleeping giant are sounding the alarm cell phone could go down they're telling many to have food prep food get stuff that could last three days they put out things like it's some kind of world apocalypse so this is why i tell people stay away from large gathering i've, I've been saying that for almost a year stay away from large gathering. That's like the hot spot right there. It says here, we're going to go with the red heifers again. The cows. Man, this red heifer is just nonstop. This story just going left and right. So uh, the red heifer, uh, they said they're going to do the red heifer on a Friday. Passover. Mount of Olives. That's where Jesus sat down and... And the disciple asked Jesus, tell us, when will your uh, sign of the coming of, of your sign and the end of ages? And Jesus sat down and Jesus spoke to uh, the disciples and told them, take heed that you are not deceived. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. Do not follow. So first thing Jesus said. Don't be deceived, for there will be many out there saying, I am the Messiah. He said that while he was sitting in the Mount of Olives. Many will come in my name. Do not believe. They're going to do that cow stuff where Jesus sat down in the Mount of Olives. They're going to be doing that. This is all connected. It's just amazing times that we are living. The state of ISR has erected a giant altar, we already know that, to be used for a sacrifice of a red heifer, cow, moo, to be performed. Good Friday. The day recognizing Jesus' crucifixion. The ashes from the Pier will take about three days to cool. Eastern Sunday. Wow. And will be used to ritually cleanse R A B B I S who will work building the third temple. Wow. That right there just. Wow.
In the Old Testament, when Moses went up unto Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments, I-S-R-A-E-L, lost faith, made themselves a golden calf, and began worshiping it as a god. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with those Ten Commandments, carved into stone tablets by the hand of God himself. He found I-S-R-A-E-L worshipping the golden calf, threw the tablets down at them, which caused an earthquake. The ground cracked open, and thousands were said to have been swallowed up by the earth for offending God. Hmm. Can there be a powerful earthquake in ISR? So here we are thousands of years later and now we see that ISR the state has switched from worshiping a golden calf to a red heifer. They are so, you know, what of our Lord and Savior, they are slaughtering this red heifer on the very day which remembers Jesus was crucified and then deemed to use the ashes from the cow to cleanse D-R-A-B-B-I-S when in fact the only thing that can cleanse is the blood of Jesus. Amen to that. Amen to that. This slaughter of a red heifer as it is F, excuse me as if it is religious is a sick affront to Christians everywhere and likely to God himself. But here's the thing. So many Christians are helping. Helping them with the red heifer. And I started thinking. I'm like, what in the world? What are you doing? So not be helping. I mean, if you want to help. Jesus is the one. Not no cows. There is no need for sacrificing of animals. It is an abomination. Our Lord and Savior was the final and ultimate sacrifice for sin for Gentile and J-E-W alike. Absolutely true. Yet, the J-E-W-S are now showing vividly they continue to deny the Son 2,000 plus years later, despite... First John chapter two You guys already know I've been telling you first John <laughs> and there will be dark forces to come. Uh very important to read first John, guys. It's it's probably like four pages. It won't hurt you. Uh so it says here to my little children I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the propit uh, uh, propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for those of the whole world. Christ's redeeming act on the cross brought an end to the sacrifices of heifers and other animals. The power was taken away from the, I'm going to skip that name, zealots of the day and given to our Lord and Savior and his church that was built upon Peter, the rock. The keys were given to the church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. 
and behold, the vial of the temple was rent and twined from the top to the bottom, and the earth did shake, the earthquake. And the rocks rent, and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. This pending sacrifice reinforces the barbaric nature of the so-called state of ISR, which the world is seeing in all its barbarism and how it's impacting the biblical war in the strip. In my personal opinion, these are, I'm going to skip that name. Okay, so a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to have to skip here. No offense uh, to uh, Turner. So it says, pray the earth opens up again. And oh, Okay, uh, we need to pray for them so they repent. We don't wish bad things on no one. <laughs> so uh, again, as follower of Christ, uh, we were commanded to pray for our enemies. So pray, pray. That was a very pow powerful article. Thank you, Turner, for that one. All right, give me a second here, guys. I was going to do the... I was going to do this one here. But uh, again, guys, it's just another MS, you know what, 1-3 cuffed at the southern region. Which is a good thing. But for Mr. Burns, the leader of this sleeping giant, he's not very happy. They took one of my boys! <laughs> Man. So give me a second here, guys. So there's been so much world news today. I'm just going to read this but I'm not going to show it a man was was cuffed for eating oh man oh, this is where we at <laughs> man Unbelievable. Oh, man. Wow. Man, this is a... Uh, it's not looking good. That's why I tell people you need to prepare spiritually, physically, and mentally. These are these are dark forces. Give me a second here. I want to read this. Uh, where is he? I truly apologize, guys. Okay, here we go. Give me one second. It says here, um... First John chapter 4, verse 3 from the New King James Version. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. <sighs> mm. Strange stuff is happening nowadays. Jeez, I should have never watched that video.
we have breaking news updates from BNO News. This just came out eight minutes ago. Sleeping Giant Military says civilian employees placed on non-work, non-pay status due to lapse in gov funding. Meanwhile, the Sleeping Giant says agency should continue normal operations, saying a deal is expected to pass later today. Information just came out eight minutes ago. I'm just double checking stuff here really quick guys, but uh Yeah, this is uh basically this is all the information. Oh hold on, I for I'm sorry. Um let's go with Kate really quick. Kate is gonna be my last video though. All right, so a lot of people just leaves uh, leave me comments and emails saying, "Louis, you're so deceived. That's not the real one, guys." Um, the reason why it doesn't look like the real person is because this person has been diagnosed with C A N C E R. So yes, the person is gonna change. People that have those, they lose weight. They look different. So again, please just sometimes this con uh, conspiracy stuff could be a headache. Please respect those that's going through this situation. I know a lot of people, and I have families that uh, is going through that same situation, and they look different. They do look different. I have a good friend of mine. I'm not gonna say his name, but he has it, and he looks a lot different. All right. Please try to respect. Uh, this uh, this thing is not no joke. She's been a constant reassuring presence throughout her daughter's life. So it is safe to say that uh, this person here will be supporting Kate. Carol will be supporting Kate through her treatment. So you have the princess and the king. They both have C-A-N-C-E-R. Wow. Once again, uh, 42 years old today announced that she is undergoing, again, chemotherapy following successful, um, again, certain um, personal things. So I did say a prayer, prayer for her, prayer for her loved ones. But most importantly, I pray that she knows Christ. That's the most important thing. It says here, by the way, this is her. It says here, while the prince uh, has been at his wife's side and representing her at engagement, Kate parents um, appear to have been eagerly on hand. Now the couple, along with Kate siblings, um, have been supporting recovering at home, her home in Windsor, which is nearby their own homes. Now she made a video. She made a video and I did share the video on my Twitter page. If you guys want to check out the video, the links will be in the comments box. Now this is her speech. This is her full speech. Now, I'm not going to read it, guys, because it's very long. But uh, I'm just... Whoa. Okay, I don't know what happened there. But I'm, I'm just going to scroll it down. Like I said, uh, I'm going to share the, uh, the video on my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out. And again, we are sending prayers. 
And she said, for everyone facing this, this issue, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You're not alone. All right, so I'm going to leave that link in my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out. So, again, we are sending prayers. And um, very, very sad. I mean, nobody want to go through that. And, um, you know, hopefully one day there could be some kind of remedy for it. But uh, right now, guys, uh, this is the world we live in. And unfortunately, you know, sometimes we have friends or loved ones. And uh, the most important thing you could do is be with them, pray for them, and um, read scriptures with them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for tuning in for uh, 1 30 a.m. Um, video. And I'm doing this late night. Again, many of you like it. So a lot of you are saying, Louis, you know, everybody's asleep. So I have like, you know, peace time alone. <laughs> so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share this video. For those of you that want to give light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.